This program makes it super easy to record and edit with AI and it's a great alternative to Camtasia. So without further ado, let me show you how to install it and set it up. Let's go. Before we get into it, I would like to thank Wondershare for sponsoring this video. If you want to set this program up and install it, all you have to do is go to the link down in the description below. You will see their website right here. And once you do that, you will see this uh, try it for free button and also the buy now button. So there's a free version and there's also a paid version. We're going to be checking out how it all works and how you can actually use it to record your screen and then use AI to do the edits if you don't know how to edit the videos normally. So if you scroll down, you can actually see which features you have in this program. There's actually a bunch of them and we're going to go over them uh, in a bit. So if you scroll down, you can check all of that. But what we want to do is first install the software. So if you click on the try it for free, it will download the software and it's a simple installer. You just go next, next. And once the program is installed, I'll show you how to actually use it. If you want to get the premium version, you go into the buy now and you will see the pricing of each the individual plan. So you have the cross platform quarterly plan, you have the yearly plan, and then you have the perpetual plan. So it goes from $30 a quarter, $60 a year, or you can do a one time payment of $80 and you get the full version of the actual program and all of the different things inside of it. So now let's actually hop into the program itself and let me show you how to use it and how it works. All right. So once you open up the program, you will actually see two different things. You have the video recorder and you have the video editor. I'm going to show you how each one works and what like are some of the cool features about them. But we want to use the video recorder first and then it opens up this uh, screen over here where it asks you what do you uh, what you actually want to record. I want to record my screen. But if you want to record your game or something else, you can simply just choose that. I'm going to choose screen over here and it will give me the full screen right here. If it doesn't, you can go on the bottom and then click on this and then choose if you want to go full screen or you want to go YouTube, TikTok, whatever like size you want, you can choose it right over here. What's also really cool is if you saw on the top, you can actually click on this teleprompter and it gives you the prompter that you can actually just put the text in. And if you click on play, it will just start scrolling down and you can read the text as an actual teleprompter. The really cool thing about this is that it doesn't even show it on the recording. So you can have it right here and it will not even be recorded at all. Uh, if you want to change your resolution, you can do it in the top left to match your screen. Or if you want to record just a section of your screen, you can do that right there. What's also really cool is you can choose specific windows to record by clicking this button right here. And there's also these AI features. If you click on them, you can actually see there's a smart zoom and like basically wherever your mouse is. And if you click on a certain thing, it will just zoom it in for you automatically. And you also have a cursor highlight. If you click on that, you can just make it like, you know, have your cursor highlighted as yellow, red, blue, purple, whatever color you actually want. So that way everyone knows where you're pointing your uh, screen at or your mouse at. Uh, there's also the show hotkeys button where you can, you know, if you're doing a lot of control C, control V, like copy pasting, you can have it shown there as well. And what's a really nice feature is this AI voice cleaner that actually cleans your voice. If you have a lot of noise in the background and, you know, a lot of stuff going on, this actually cleans your voice and it makes your voice sound perfect and crisp. So I'm going to show you how to actually how, you know, how this actually works by doing a sample recording. You can also enable your webcam right here and then you can just place it wherever you want. So it's automatic inside of the recorder as well. I don't want to use it because I'm, you know, recording myself over here. Normally, you can change the volume of your microphone. And now let's do a sample recording of their website. And then I can actually use the editor and show you how some of the AI features work over there. So now if we go back on their website and I enable some of these magic features like smart zoom and cursor highlight, we're actually going to disable because I'm going to show you even if you have it disabled over here, you can enable it back in the editor after and then show it there as well. So you don't have to have it on all the time. We're going to enable smart zoom. I'm going to click record and it's going to start the timer right here for me. Three, two, one. And then I can just go ahead and show you like the website. I can click on stuff. If I, for example, scroll down and I click on screen, it will do the automatic zoom in for me. Even though you don't see it right now, you will see it back in the recording itself. You can just click around, scroll down. You can enable the prompter. If you enabled it before, you could have clicked on it and then it would actually show it. And then you can just scroll down around here, click on stuff. And now if we click on stop recording in the top right, it will actually stop it and it will show you the preview of what you recorded. So if we click on play, you can actually see that once I clicked left click 
on the website, it just zoomed in and then it goes back to whatever I click. It just like automatically zooms it in. So you don't have to do it in the editor at all if you don't want to. And now we're actually going to use this feature or you, we're going to use this recording. Uh, we're going to exit out of it. This recording is going to stay saved into our PC. We're going to exit out of everything, even the recorder itself. And now we're actually going to go to the video editor and I'm going to show you some of the cool things about the editor. So if we click on the video editor, it will open up something similar to Camtasia or, or like Premiere Pro or something like that, where you can see your timeline and then different effects on top. Now we're going to drag our recording by going to the recordings. We're going to drag it over here and uh, it's going to ask uh, if you want to change the project settings or something. We're going to change them to match the recording. And now it's as you can see, everything is working fine. If we play it, it works just like that. That's totally fine with me now. If you want to add certain things, like, for example, you go to annotations, there are some cool uh, annotations you can add, for example, like circles. If you want to show, you know, like a circle uh, overlay, if you're pointing on something, especially in a presentation or something like that, like this, that's really nice. You can edit that out. Uh, I don't want to use that right now, so I'm going to delete it. But you can go ahead and do like video effects. You can add uh, the green screen. You can add the blur background. So everything that you can actually add using different plugins, you can do it directly in the demo creator itself over here. In the audio effects, it also has the voice cleaner and the AI denoise. This is what I was talking about, uh, talking about in the recorder itself. So even if you don't use it in the recorder, you can use it in the editor and it will work just as fine. So if I was recording my voice, I could just add the voice cleaner and the, the noise and it will remove all the noise automatically for me without me needing to do anything else. You, you don't need to have like an expensive microphone or anything else that way. There's also cursor effects like I was talking before. You can add a cursor highlight automatically over here. So it will work just as fine as your cursor highlight inside the recorder. Uh, you can just, you know, add it to the uh actual recording over here and if you scroll you can actually see the mouse is always highlighted right there so that's really nice you don't have to even if you forgot you can add it later on and it works just as fine so if you go Control z it will uh you know remove it that's fine and there's also like a bunch of different things for example even the pan and zoom you can do smart zoom if you didn't add it back in the recording you can add it to your screen over here applying smart zoom will replace all the existing animations do you want to proceed i do and now it will find where I was moving my mouse, where I was clicking, and it will automatically zoom inside those, uh, you know, things. So as you can see right here, it zooms there and it goes back and it zooms there. So even if I didn't have it, it would automatically add it for me. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. I don't want to go to like all of them, but you can check them out for yourself. If you download a software, there's some cool transitions. There's um, some stickers and audios and all of these effects you can add to your YouTube videos or whatever other social media you're using this for. And if you're using this for like TikTok or other short form content, you can actually go ahead and do click on this button right here and it's auto subtitles. And you can just choose if you want to do manual subtitles or automatic subtitles. We want to do automatic source language is going to be uh, English. And then you can also identify and highlight words if you want and then click on start. And this will transcribe your video and actually you know, make the automatic subtitles for you without you needing to do absolutely anything. I don't think I recorded my microphone here, so this will not really work. But if I did, you would be able to get the automatic subtitles, everything would work, and then you would have a video with the subtitles, with the effects, with everything in just like a few minutes, no problem. And then if you're happy with the video, you can simply go to the export on top right, uh, make sure to name your project whatever you want go to the format choose mp4 or any other format you really want the resolution the directory choose the preset if you want to have high resolution middle or normal uh, you can choose it for specific social media as well you can do youtube tiktok vimeo or any other uh, social media click on export and it will export the video just like that and that's basically it that's how you can install demo creator from wondershare shout out to them for sponsoring this video if you do want to check out their product make sure to click down in the description below if you guys did like this video make sure to hit the like it would mean the world youtube thinks that you will like this video so make sure to click on that and check it out anyway i'll see you in the next one peace out and have a good one bye bye